What up, humans? Karumi here, and welcome to the Mobile Legends Bootcamp. In this video, we are going to talk about the fighter, X-Borg. X-Borg has a good set of area of effect, crowd control, and burst skills. Our Faraga armor, X-Borg, is a fighter hero. I consider X-Borg as a great burst damage fighter, since his ultimate could deal burst through damage depending on the enemy's max health. Not only that, his first skill could deal true damage when the enemy's temperature is so high. Now, let me share some tips and tricks on how to use X-Borg based on my experience. I will also teach you some combos and techniques on the latter part of this bootcamp. But before that, let me explain his skills one by one for further understanding. X-Borg's passive, Faraga Armor grants a Faraga armor to X-Borg which inherits his max health points and takes damage for him. The armor has its own stats of health points. You can check it on your stats in game. You can regen health points on your armor in the base or by picking up Faraga supplies. Faraga supplies are things that drops from enemies that reaches maximum temperature. When X-Borg deals fire damage to enemies, their temperature will rise. When the armor runs out of health, X-Borg ejects from his armor and rolls to the direction of your directional pad. During ejecting, you won't receive any damage. This now makes him on his armorless state. During his armorless state, he now becomes a ranged hero. He restores energy continuously on this state. Or if he picks up a Faraga supply, when his energy is full, he re-equips the Faraga armor and restore its health at 50%. X-Borg's first skill, Fire Missiles. Let's X-Borg activate his flamethrower and fires it to a designated direction. Enemies hit will receive certain amount of physical damage. When enemy's hit has a maximum temperature, this skill will deal true damage instead. In his armorless state, the flamethrower will now narrow its angle but will lengthen its distance. It will also have its damage reduced. X-Borg's second skill, Fire Stake. Let's X-Borg shoot six fire stakes at the edge of a fan-shaped indicator. A few moments later, the stake will return to X-Borg. Each stake deals a certain amount of physical damage to enemies in the path, and pulls them towards X-Borg. If the stakes touches a Faraga supply on its return path to X-Borg, then the supplies will be taken back as well. In his armorless state, the fire stake launcher will now shoot the stakes farther, but shortens the gap between the stakes. X-Borg's ultimate skill, Last Insanity, lets X-Borg to charge forward in a designated direction, shooting fire around him. Enemies hit by the flames will receive physical damage, and slows down enemies. If he hits an enemy hero while charging forward, he will stop the charge and will slow the target by 30% more. He will be spinning and spitting fire for 3 seconds. After the duration, he will explode and deal a certain amount of true damage to the enemies, depending on the enemy's maximum health points. The explosion will destroy his Faraga armor and will put him into armorless state. This skill is not usable when in armorless state. As you notice, you can use this skill during the spinning. When you click on it, you will instantly explode without waiting for 3 seconds.
There are so many items that you can buy for X Borg. You can focus on items that grants physical damage, items that gives you health points, and items that increases your movement speed. For me, I choose to buy items that grant spell vamp, movement speed, health points, and additional shield to X Borg. As for starting item, you can consider buying magic shoes. Magic shoes grants additional movement speed and cooldown reduction. The cooldown reduction can help you cast more of your skills. Buying attack items such as Blade of Despair will greatly increase your damage output. This item grants additional physical attack and movement speed. Its unique passive will give you additional physical attack when the target's health is below a certain percentage. The movement speed bonus can also help you chase enemies or escape death. You might want to consider Brute Force Breastplate. This item grants health points and physical defense. Its unique passive grants additional movement speed, physical defense, and magic defense for every skill cast or basic attack dealt. This effect can stack up to 5 times, and it lasts for a few seconds. You might also want to consider Hunter Strike. This item grants physical attack and cooldown reduction. Its unique attribute grants physical penetration. Its unique passive improves your movement speed when you have attacked an enemy 5 times in a row. This buff lasts for 3 seconds. This effect has a cooldown of 15 seconds. Buying attack items such as Bloodlust Axe will let you sustain your health in team fights. This item grants physical attack and cooldown reduction. Its unique passive grants 20% Spell Vamp. Spell Vamp regenerates health points from damage dealt by skills. Since X Borg deals area of effect damage with his skills, then you can still sustain inside team fights while burning them to ashes. Lastly, you can consider buying Rose Gold Meteor. This item grants physical attack, magic defense, and physical life steal. Its unique passive grants a shield when the hero's health drops below a certain amount. This unique passive has a cooldown. This is great for X Borg since he needs to be more durable in the armorless state. Oh, by the way, you can also consider Oracle instead of Rose Gold Meteor. This item grants additional health points, magical defense, and cooldown reduction. Its unique passive raises shield absorption and HP regeneration effects by 25%. This will raise up the regenerated health from picking up the Faraga supplies. The item build for X Borg really depends on the enemy's lineup. So make sure to read each item's description so you can adapt in game. One of the best spells to be used on X Borg is Flicker. You can use it to escape danger, even death. You can use Flicker to either blink and then let your ultimate skill explode, or use this to escape death. You can also consider Sprint. This can really help you run from danger, or chase enemies. Opinion. The best emblem set to be used is the Custom Fighter Emblem set. Custom Fighter Emblem could provide extra stats according to your needs as a fighter. Set Bravery to its max level because it can give you extra physical damage. Higher physical damage means higher damage for your attacks. Setting Invasion to max level will provide you physical penetration. Higher physical penetration means higher damage on your basic attacks and skills. Get Festival of Blood to be granted 8% of Spell Vamp. Killing an enemy hero grants an extra 1% Spell Vamp. This is really helpful since your damage comes mostly from your skills. So, it's also best to gain some health while dealing damage to enemies. Set first skill to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the cooldown lower. That means, you can cast this skill again to chase enemies or escape death. Prioritize second skill less since his first skill is what you need for chasing enemies. Always upgrade his ultimate skill when available for upgrading. x Borg's passive skill is what you really need to survive team fights. Let's tackle first everything about his Faraga armor. As mentioned earlier, his Faraga armor has a different health points. You can also regain health points for your armor when using Life Steal, Spell Vamp, and Regeneration. We mentioned earlier that when his armor's health drops to zero, he will automatically eject from it and be immune from damage for a few moments. In short, it just feels like he has a second life. Take a look on this scenario. Budang will do a combo on me. But look on how X Borg easily escaped that lethal scenario. Take a look on another scenario. 
But let's have Eudora this time. Loka girl is using Eudora and as we know Eudora. Her ultimate could rip us apart in an instant. So, with a little health from our armor, let's have Eudora cast her ultimate on us. As you can see, her ultimate didn't even made a scratch. That's because our armor was destroyed instead by our ultimate and not our armorless state. So, it's definitely like having a second life. Which is good against heroes that does a sure kill combo like Eudora and Aurora. Let's take a look on another example. On this scenario, the enemies were chasing me. As you can see, my armor definitely saved me from dying. Now, let's talk about him when in the armorless state. Not because he doesn't have the armor doesn't mean he is not a threat. His skills have longer range on this state. That means, he can still deal damage on a safe distance. You can still help on team fights while waiting for your shield to regenerate. Just make sure to pick up the Faraga supplies to regenerate health and energy. Or use your second skill so it can pick the supplies for you. Xborg's first skill is what you need to hurt enemies so bad. Not just it slows down enemies. It also deals true damage to the enemies when their temperature is at maximum. All we can say is keep spamming this skill to enemies. The great thing with this skill is, you can use it even while you are running. So you can either use it to escape from enemies by slowing them down, or chase them until their death. In the armorless state, this skill's range gets farther, but the angle gets narrower and the damage lower. But still, you should never underestimate it because it can still deal true damage. And the range in the armorless state makes you shoot your flamethrower in a safe distance. Your second skill is what you need to crowd control the enemies. With the ability to pull them towards you. This will give you greater advantage to chase down enemies. You can use your second skill while using your first skill. In the armorless state, the range becomes farther. Just make sure not to pull enemies when they are chasing you, because you'd be helping them chase you even more. Your ultimate skill is what you need for burst damage. This skill deals true damage on its explosion. We usually use his ultimate to dive in team fights. Then when we are in the middle of the team fight, we clip the skill again to make an explosion. The explosion is no joke because it deals true damage. One hit from the explosion could really send you to heavens. You can also use this skill to spray flames to your targets, to deal a few damage first before sending them to heaven. In terms of combo, we usually follow a simple combo with X Borg. First, we use first skill to make the enemy's temperature to maximum. Then, use again your first skill to deal true damage this time. You can either use your first or second skill next depending on which fits the situation. Then, when the targets have health lower than 30% on your estimate, then use your ultimate then make it explode. You will see lots of body shattered on the spot in no time. Additional tip. I know that most of you will be accused of stealing a kill when using your ultimate. Well, let them be. Don't let them drag your performance down by a puny little insult. Just remember that securing a kill is always the priority. You don't want enemies blinking away from your ultimate when you could have had them that time, phew. The tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Xborg. This video just guides you on how to use Xborg the Kurumi way. We also thank Rakuten. Our squad mate for being with us in this boot camp as our punching bag. And also, we also thank Lizia Set and her squad for being here with us again. Follow her on her Facebook page for more Mobile Legends gaming streams. So, once again, this is Kurumi and that's how you use Xborg. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to my channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe button below. For our skin giveaway events. Check out our community tab in YouTube for the mechanics on how to join. See you on the next Mobile Legends Bootcamp. Cheers!